Ever wondered how to make your headphone battery last for a good deal of time? Most of today's products don't cut it for a true do-it-yourself or who is an avid listener in the same time. Well, in today's video I'm going to hack into my cheap yet reliable pair of over-the-ear headphones with minimum aesthetic changes. First of all, we need to disassemble the unit to get a look of what we got inside. This process is very easy to execute since there are only few screws holding the plastic panels of both sides. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry open these panels in order to expose the main circuit board. Once it is out, you can clearly see that those weak wires won't do it anymore in terms of durability and noise levels, so we need to change them with better ones. The original battery was damaged and it wasn't charging or provide sufficient play time. It is a lithium polymer rechargeable battery with a capacity of 180 mAh. The one I'm going to replace it with is a lithium ion 18650 with a capacity of 2400 mAh. So we need to make calculations to have some info on the improvement in play time that this upgrade will introduce. We still gonna need charging and protection circuit for the new battery since it doesn't come with one. I'm going to salvage the circuit from old battery after I check with the charging specification for both batteries which were the same. With a current meter connected between the battery and the headphones board, I calculated the maximum current draw when the headphone was connected via Bluetooth and playing at maximum volume. And it was close to 65 milliamperes. And for normal listening levels, the current draw was about 50 milliamperes. So the playing times were 37 hours at maximum volume and 48 hours at normal volume levels. Now we need to start replacing the original hair-like wires with thicker ones. You can trace the wires along the headphones body in order to remove them. Here I am soldering the new wires for the other side speaker and new battery. The charging and protection circuit that came with the original battery will be used with the 865 battery since it has a decent overcharge and over discharge options. Here the new wires are being put back into the body and everything is soldered again into place. What is left is to install the new battery in a spot with minimum visual impact and for me it doesn't really matter since I'm going to be using this headphones at home or while running and I don't care about the shape changes more than the performance. After completing all the wiring and reassembly, I want to change the color of this headphone since I find it too flashy. I'm going for the deep black color. So first I need to mask all parts at the right. I don't want the paint bleach.
Then I applied a few coats of paint and then a couple of clear coats. The final results look good enough for me, with minimum aesthetic changes and major playtime upgrade. So overall things turned out to be very good indeed, and I hope you learned something that you may use in your own project. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit thumbs up for this video, and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos to come.